Big news, AFTV are coming to Ghana. We are coming to Ghana in Africa between the 6th and 12th of February, and we're gonna be meeting Ghanaian Arsenal fans and doing a watch party around the West Ham versus Arsenal football game. You do not wanna miss this, so Ghana, get ready. We are coming, AFTV. Hi, welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily. The show that keeps you up to date. Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that we link with a January transfer move to Arsenal. You wouldn't think it's January right now where I am. It is beautiful here. I'm usually stuck in a studio in freezing cold England doing these videos in January, but I'm very lucky to be over here today in Qatar. And it is beautiful. This is a beautiful country. If you've never been here, you've got to get out of here. Um, I'm here to take in some games in the Asian Cup, um, so really, really nice. And funny enough, um, you know, there's a lot of people seeing some of my posts yesterday and thinking, oh, are you over in Dubai where the Arsenal team are training? No, not too far away, but over here in Qatar at the moment. And the reason why I'm over here is the Asian um, Cup going on. Yeah, at the moment, you've got the Asian Cup going on, you've got the African Cup of Nations going on, and of course, one of our players is here at the moment, Takiero Tomiyasu, with the Japan team. Um, and I'm going to be taking in their game. They're going to be playing um, and I'm going to be able to go to that game. Really looking forward to that. And hopefully Tomiyasu will play. We know that he's been carried an injury. And on Tomiyasu, actually, some um, good news in that he's on the verge of signing a brand new contract extension at Arsenal that's going to keep him at Arsenal for a very long time. And I think that's good news because... Um, Tommy Asu, despite the injuries, when he's fit, he is a top, top quality player for Arsenal. And I think it's great that, you know, we can have a player like that here long term. So Tommy Asu on the verge of signing a long term deal and hopefully we get to see him over here in the Asian Cup. Now on transfers today, um, a big link going out to Sasha Bowie. Um, Sasha Bowie, of course, who I've spoken about several times here on Transfer Daily, um, plays his football over in Turkey for Galatasaray. A very, very good player. Plays right back, can also play left back as well, and has been heavily linked with a move to Arsenal. Now, news coming out today that um, his team Galatasaray would be willing to sell Sasha Bowie this transfer window, but they're looking for around about £17 million for him. Now, is that gettable for Arsenal, this transfer window? I spoke yesterday about the fact that, you know, there's these charges at the moment, uh, financial, financial fair play charges for Everton and also for Nottingham Forest. It's got a lot of teams in the Premier League spooked. They've got to make sure that they stay within their budget and that, you know, they don't go overspending. Um, but £17 million may be achievable for Arsenal and we know that they're definitely looking in those uh, defensive areas for players. So could Sasha Bowie be a possibility? He's, a, he's French, as I still said, still very, very young, 23 years of, old, of age, and a really uh, talented um, right back. So let's see if Arsenal possibly make a move for him this January transfer window, which so far has been pretty quiet. Now, what about this guy, Anthony Patterson? Um, he's a goalkeeper, plays in goal for Sunderland, and um, he's been having a really, really good time of it. Um, lots of people, you know, giving him a lot of top ratings and saying that he could be one of the next big things. Still only 23 years of age, so that's quite young for a goalkeeper. And he today has been heavily linked with a move to Arsenal. Now, we know that uh, the goalkeeping situation at Arsenal for me, in a bit of a turmoil because we had a top quality goalkeeper in Aaron Ramsdale. Um, we bought in David Raya. Um, David Raya, we bought in on this three million loan with an obligation to buy him for 27 million at the end of the season. So at the end of the season, David Raya will become an Arsenal player. What will happen to Aaron Ramsdale? Um, looks like he's definitely going to move on. He's not going to want to play number two. There'll be loads of clubs in for him. That means that Arsenal will need a number two, and they've identified Anthony Patterson as the guy who could fill those shoes. Now, would this be a January deal if maybe they were able to move Aaron Ramsdale on and get a load of money for him and then bring Patterson in? He's valued at around about £10 million. Or 
is it more of a summer deal? I, I sort of think it's more of a summer deal at the moment. You've got Sunderland at the moment. They're still pushing for promotion to the uh, Premier League. Uh, I think they're just outside or just around the uh, playoff places. They won't want to lose a top quality goalkeeper like him. And uh, Arsenal are not going to want to let Aaron Ramsdale go right now unless it's a huge amount of money. But if that huge amount of money came in, maybe they might move for Patterson. Manchester City and Liverpool also interested in Patterson's signature. So let's see how that one plays out. Now, what about this one today? Jamal Musiala. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of this guy. He's a really, really talented attacking midfield player. Um, plays for Bayern Munich, one of their best players, one of the best young players in European football right now. Now, his contract, um, you know, I think runs till around about 2026, but Bayern Munich have been trying to uh, tie him down to a new deal to extend that deal. And at the moment, um, some of the rumours are suggesting um, that uh, he stalled on that contract. Now, the uh, publication Fijos, they're saying that um, a summer move could be on the cards for Musiala and that Arsenal, Liverpool and Manchester City are all interested in his signature. It would be a lot of money, about £100 million. Musiala, of course, who we'll see a lot of in the World Cup, German international, could actually have played for England as well. Used to play for England with Drew Bellingham as a kid, but chose to play for Germany um, and, of course, is one of the Bayern Munich star players. Now, will Bayern Munich let this guy leave? He's such a, a good player. I'd be really, really surprised at it. But Arsenal said to be one of these uh, teams really looking out for him. He's a very special talent. So I don't think this is anything going to happen at all this January. But look out for this one as a possible deal to be done in the summer. And, of course... Arsenal looking to try and move some players out of this January transfer window. Top of their list is Cedric. Cedric Suarez, of course, uh, right back for Arsenal. I think he's only played one game um, for Arsenal this season. He's not figured. His contract is up at the end of the season. Um, so he's only got, what, five months left on his contract as it is. Not going to be renewing it. He's 32 now and Arsenal want to move him on, despite the fact that we're light in the fullback positions. They want to move him on. Um, so, you know, there's been talk of teams over in Portugal interested, teams over in Turkey interested. Nothing concrete at the moment, but um, lots of rumours going around that uh, a top priority of Edu's this January transfer window is to try and get some um, funds in for Cedric and get him off the wage bill. And also for Mohamed El Neni as well, who's currently at the African Cup of Nations, who's also in a similar situation, whose contract runs out at the end of um, this season. So two players are also looking to move on this January transfer window. So those are the rumours for today. We are over here um, in Qatar, as I said, um, I'm going to be taking in that uh, Japan game. So hopefully, um, you know, I mean, I get to see Tomiyasu. Um, don't forget to check us out tomorrow. We're going to be back here with another transfer daily. But in the meantime, I think I'll go and take a dip. <laughs>